Chocolate. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Final Space Season 2. A season I was really looking forward to as the first season was a major surprise to me. Now, I did have a little bit of hesitation going into the season just because of how final the last season was at the end of the first season the finality of it all the amount of people who died the people who were lost just the bleakness of it and the stakes that were set and executed in that final episode were so staggering i just had no idea how they were going to come back from that and lisa say it doesn't start off strong the first three to four episodes of this season are a bit kind of disjointed they don't really mingle they're funny gosh yeah they're really funny but in the first episode, they basically undo a lot of the things except for Quinn being sucked into Final Space as well as Earth being sucked into Final Space, which kind of makes it feel like a lot of things didn't matter. But this is sort of an idea throughout the season, the idea of time being kind of a toy to trick with as there are some episodes that bring characters back that you didn't even expect. They go through to certain elements of time just to see that things are meant to happen the way they are, no matter how things go. The cast is still very, very good in this. They do bring Clarence and his two kids into this, and I didn't like Clarence for a large portion of this, but eventually he starts to grow on you. I do like how his character ends in this season, at least his story arc for now. I did like the two kids, because they were quite funny. I thought the big guy was like Terry Crews, and the other girl was like a kind of a comedic version of Raven. And a lot of the elements of this show, after about episode five, really start to get going. There's a lot more of a constructive narrative. It still does those things where it switches back between extreme hilarity to heartbreaking sadness, just like the first season did. There's a lot of moments that will tug at your heartstrings, whether it's the relationship with Gary Goodspeed's mom or the relationship between Avocado and his son, the several time loops that happen throughout this season. There are two major complaints I'll have though, is that one of the main villains of this season is a guy that had nothing to do with anything, takes on these weird alien smurf reject things and he's and he's hell-bent on killing Gary Goodspeed. And he amasses this ship that is so big that it turns out to be the final fight at the end of the show. It just, in terms of conflicts, the end of this season pales in comparison to the first season because of just how little you care about this villain. He does lead to one of the funniest moments in the entire show though, where Gary has his happy space and he imagines that he's married to a cookie wife. Cookie wife! Cookie kids! Literally one of the funniest moments in the entire show. And the other part I would say is that they do retread over a lot of elements. There is particularly one episode that involves time splicing with little Kato in a ship and it's almost a sequel in fact to the episode where he was in a ship that was bleeding time in the first season it's just a little bit of a different variation to it but it's almost the exact same episode so to see them kind of retaking elements from the first season is a little weird considering there's a lot of elements that they don't even talk about they don't talk about how the Lord Commander got his powers. We are led to believe that it was Invictus, but we don't really get a sense of how that happened. We don't get to learn anything about why the human race was just so willing to let the Lord Commander destroy Earth. We don't find out a lot of things that I brought up in my theory video, which I forgot I even made, about the idea that Gary and his dad are the reason why Lord Commander is the way they are. He is because they beat the shit out of him in that time freeze. So there's a few elements that they could have talked about instead of kind of going on these disjointed ventures and kind of just filling in two extra episodes when this could have been 10 episodes again. I do like how it ends. I like how they're setting it up for this finality though. I do feel that the third season should be the final season because they have now led to this point. They have a point to end on. If they try to go any further, they're just going to be dragging it out, but that's just my opinion. In the end, I think Final Space is still over. In the end, Final Space Season 2 is still a very good time. It's not as good as the first, but I did enjoy it. The animation is fantastic in this. It is so good. There was points where I didn't think they could get any better than the first season, and they do. 
there is a lot of very fluid animation styles, both between the characters and the ships and uh, all the elements of space. There are several sci-fi elements that they brought back into it, not explaining it, but they're visually stunning to see. While the little Kato episode is, yes, a rehash of his episode from the first season, the space element in that episode is still really cool, the sci-fi element. I like how this show, while it feels like it's written by a hyperactive teenage stoner, it still has cool sci-fi elements to it to keep it in this realm that make you enjoy it. So in the end, Final Space Season 2 is still a good time. It's still a fun, enjoyable time, but it does have some flaws to it. It's not as good as the first season, but it still is very enjoyable. I do look forward to seeing the third season. I just hope that they have a little bit more of a structured and focused narrative than they did for this season. In the end, I'm going to give this season a 5 out of 7. It's a good time. You still will enjoy it. There's some humor bits that you might find just ridiculous, like the pissing match thing. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.